guys, how's it going? It's Eric King, and due to me getting 100 likes on my most recent tutorial, which is right here, I have 102 likes, which is more than enough. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to sync clips and cinematics the way that I do. Uh, you guys saw a preview of what you're going to be making in uh, the start of the video, and I'm going to have in the description a link to all of that stuff um, through Mediafire. If you can't get it through Mediafire, just message me on Skype or Twitter, and I'll send it to you. But um, I just want to thank you guys first off for getting 100 likes around on Sorrow V2. Um, it's only been like a week and that's my most liked video so that's like really crazy. Um, if you haven't seen it yet go check it out. I spent a lot of time on it. It's definitely my best edit so far. But I'm going to get straight into this tutorial. The next one's going to be at 75 likes which is going to be uh, my pan crop or screen pump tutorial. It's going to go really well with this one so let's try to get a whole bunch of likes on this. Um, I'm going to do it at 75, but if we can get like 100 likes on this, because I'm pretty much teaching you how to edit like I do, um, that'd just be really great. But we have our After Effects open. Um, I'm going to start off with a cinematic, the uh, Raid Tree cinematic. Actually, I'm going to put the song in first. Um, that's probably the more important part. And if you press L twice on your keyboard, it's going to bring up the waveform. Um, so pretty much the sound of your song. This one has really nice beats, so we're just going to find a beat that starts, which should be right about here. And we're just going to start our little edit off in this part. So, yeah, right around there. Um, Alright, yeah, so we have that part. Uh, I'm just going to trim this because we're not going to need this much. Yeah, just make it like 15 seconds. I don't really know how long this is going to be, but um, we have our song. We have it at the right beat. We're going to put our tree cinematic. And if you look, the cinematic is going to be like 10 beats long or something, or like probably even more than 10, like 12 beats. Um, and the next beat is actually just right here. So that's actually a good thing. You want to have a very slow cinematic. Um, because you're going to be messing around with the speeds and the slower it is the better it's going to look. I'd say keep it a minimum of 5 seconds and then a maximum of about 10 seconds. Um, if it's over 10 seconds it might look a little weird. So just keep it around 5 to 10 seconds. I think this one's like 7 or something. But we're just going to um, press Control alt t to bring up time remapping like uh, you just saw me do. And you're going to take the uh, let's say it's like this you're just going to drag this to the next beat and then also drag this to the next beat so it's this entire cinematic is going to be one beat long if you ram preview it does not look very good because it's it's really fast and um, it's going around this tree like at a really weird like it just looks really weird so how you want to fix this and how I sync my cinematics is I'll highlight the keyframes right click on them go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease and if you bring up your graph editor like uh, this thing right here you're going to see it makes this little curve and you actually want it to be like the opposite of this you want to drag the uh, second keyframe down and the first keyframe upwards and pretty much what you want to have is a curve over here and then like a slight hill and then a curve at the end um, you really need to have this slight hill in the middle because um, if it's a straight line or something, it's going to look really weird. So I'm just going to um, ramp preview it right now. You can see it looks so much better. It speeds up, freezes a little bit towards here, uh, but it doesn't completely freeze. It's just really slow, and then it speeds up at the end. So the reason why you don't want to have it like too curved, like let's say right here, you can see this is pretty much like a straight line in the middle, is if you like ram preview it like this it's going to freeze right here and that's not what you want because then it's going to look really choppy and you do not want to have a choppy edit that's pretty simple um, just make sure that there's like some curve like right here it's a really slight curve and you can probably hardly see it but if you zoom in you can tell there is a curve right in the middle but that's pretty much all you have to do for cinematics. I'm going to be moving on to the clip, which is the more difficult thing. It's kind of the same as the cinematic, though, but um, just, just, just a little bit different. So I'm going to go over that right now. 
you're going to go to a good part. I'm probably going to do it when he's pulling the bolt back right about here. And I'm going to cut it and press Control Alt T to bring up your time remapping. Put a keyframe there. So this is like the new start to the uh, clip. Then what you want to do is just find all of the, um, the gunshots. So he gets a shot right there keyframe it and then he's going to get a shot right here I'm not going to use every shot in this because uh, that would just take way too long to sing so I'm just gonna do two shots now that you have these two shots um, keyframed you want to go to the uh, when he pulls back the bolt uh, it doesn't have to be exact but like maybe like right around this part when it's like halfway pulled back um, Put a keyframe there and then go over here and put a keyframe when he pulls back the bolt right around this area. So I'm just going to cut it over here. Um, and you can see the keyframes are pretty um, spread out. Uh, they should, they're like, these are kind of even though, evenly spread out. Uh, there's a little bit of space right here, but that's not too big. But then right here, you can see there's a huge space in between this and then when he shoots. So the reason for that is because he's scoped in a very long time right around this part. So you want to put a keyframe when he's scoped in um, because you can see here he's scoped in a really long time and then he shoots and for this shot he's scoped in for like a few frames and then he shoots. So you want to put a keyframe right when he scopes in because you want to sync that as well. Uh, you just want these to be pretty evenly uh, spaced out before you get into actually syncing them but now that I have all of these things synced, you can just start um, syncing it normally like you would do with time remapping and um, putting keyframes where the beats are. If you don't know how to sync with time remapping, uh, just go to the beats, which are this, uh, this thing right here, how it's like a little bit higher than the others. Those are the beats for this song. Some might be harder than others to find, but this one's going to be pretty basic. So. Like I said, I was going to have a download in the description, so you guys are just going to be able to um, follow what I'm doing, hopefully, and make this a little bit easier. Now you can see I have something on every beat, and if you RAM preview it right now, it's going to look like regular time remapping. Um, it doesn't look horrible, but you can do a lot more with it um, with the thing that I did for the cinematics. So you're going to highlight the keyframes, right click, key from assistant and then easy ease then go to your graph editor right here um, zoom in a little bit because it's going to be pretty stretched out and you can see there's a whole bunch of curves here from your keyframes some are going to be bigger than other ones like you see this is a bigger curve than this one right here and that's why um, you're going to individually manipulate them so it looks the best that it can be we're just going to start off with the first one. Um, see how the curve is a lot smaller than in the cinematic because, uh, like I said in the cinematic one, if you have a straight line like this, it is going to be very choppy. So you just want to kind of make it a curve, a slight curve over here where there's like a tiny bit of a curve in the middle, so right around this part. And then for something like this where there's a bigger curve, you can just make the curve bigger as long as there's not a straight line in the middle so I'm just gonna do that quickly with all of this uh, it would look a lot better with like screen pumps or something which I'm gonna teach like I said at 75 likes but I'm just gonna quickly go over this stuff it doesn't have to be exactly like mine um, as long as there is just a curve over here and then a kind of straight line over here and then a curve at the end then you should be okay so I'm almost done with this. I have one more thing to do, which is the end. And I'm going to RAM preview this. Uh, I don't know how it's going to look, so if it looks weird, then I'll change it. But um, you can also do the same. But right now, it looks pretty good. You can see it's uh, synced pretty nice to the beats. And it speeds up, slows down. That's pretty much how I do my syncing. Uh, I would spend more time on it. Like for this one, it's kind of kind of weird. But um, I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time on it because that would make the tutorial like 20 minutes. So it looks a little bit weird in the beginning, but um, you can fix that 
pretty easily. If you just mess around with it, um, making the curves different, you can see it's actually making it worse. So right now what we have is this right here. Um, I'm gonna play it one more time. You can see it's synced. That's how you do clips. It sounds a little bit weird with the gunshots, so you can just mute the audio and put in your own gunshots, but like I said, I don't have a whole bunch of time, so I'm, going to, I'm just gonna go to the next thing, which is gonna be the next cinematic. Um, you should know how to do this already because if you paid attention to the last cinematic, it's gonna be exactly the same. I'm just gonna quickly go over this to make sure that you know how to do it. Just Control-Alt-T to bring up timer mapping. Go over here uh, to your next beat. Put a keyframe, put a keyframe, um, yeah, right there, okay. So you got your keyframes, highlight them, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, go to your graph editor, zoom in a little bit, and drag these down, drag these up, so you have a curve. Then, um, of course, mute the audio, and just see how this looks. It, flows very nice it looks great I'm just gonna go over this whole thing right now and then that should be pretty much all you need to do so if you saw it it looks very nice it's very smooth there's not any choppiness um, it should be choppy on your screen actually but uh, for me there's no choppiness at all so this is pretty much how I do my syncing. It'll look a lot better when you have color correction, black bars, everything, but um, I don't really have time to do all that. I might have it in the preview, but um, I'm not really sure. So other than that, that's really all you need to know to sync the way that I do. Um, I'm gonna have another tutorial if I can get the likes for pan crop, which is going to be, um, it's gonna go very well with this syncing tutorial because um, they go very well together if you know how to use them correctly. That's pretty much how you make an edit uh, that's you know really good, that has nice flow, is just the syncing and the pan crop. The effects don't really matter as much, but um, like I said, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'll just see you guys in the next tutorial.